Hey guys, how are we going? So today we'll be learning about Pythagoras' theorem and it's essentially a formula that we use to calculate the lengths of the different sides in a right angle triangle. So the learning intentions of today it is to investigate the Pythagoras' theorem and to use it to calculate the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. So by the end of the, this lesson or video you should be able to, you should know Pythagoras' theorem, understand it and be able to use it to solve different problems. So let's pause the video here and take a minute to write these down in either your exercise book or the sheet that you have. Alright, now that you've wrote those down, let's go through the key ideas of Pythagoras' theorem. So the longest side of a right angle triangle is called the hypotenuse and it is opposite the right angle triangle. So I've labelled it down here for you guys. It is the length it is the side labeled C and as you can see it is directly opposite to the right angle over here and it is also visibly the longest side in a right angle triangle. So the next point, the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the squares of the length of the two shorter sides. So the two shorter sides are A and B and A squared plus B squared will give you C squared. So that is the formula over here. So let's take a minute to write those down as well and process it if you need. Now moving on to the first question. Alright, so I'm going to start every question by writing out the formula once again. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Because the more we write it out, the less likely we are to forget this. Alright, so let's substitute these values in. Let's say that one is A and that is B. So that gives us 5 squared plus 12 squared, which gives us 25 plus 40, 144. And that gives us a value of 169. And that gives us with C squared equals 169. But we're not interested in C squared. We want C by itself like that. So to do that, we have the square root both sides. And that gives us C equals root 169. And our final answer, just put that in the calculator. That will give us a value of 13. Alright, I'll do one more with you guys before you guys have a go at them yourselves. So once again, C squared, ignore that line at the top, equals A squared plus B squared. So let's substitute the values in once again. That gives us 9.5 squared plus 7 squared. Doesn't matter, doesn't really matter which one you use as A or B here because it's an addition. Now, let's put those values in the calculator. That should give us a value of 139.25. Now to get C, we need to square root this value. And that gives us... 11.8 Alright, now moving on You guys can take a minute or so to work out these questions and unpause the video when you're ready to go through them with me Alright, so I'll start this question off once again writing the formula C squared equals A squared plus B squared and that gives us 4 squared plus 3 squared which equals to 16 plus 9 so that means C would equal square root 25 and that gives us a final answer of 5. Give, us, give yourself a tick if you got that one correct. Alright, and the last one, I'll substitute the value straight in now. C squared equals 2.5 squared plus 5 squared. Pop those values into the calculator and that gives us 31.25. Alright, now to get C, we'll have to square root that, and that will give us 5.5 line. Give yourselves a tick if you got that one correct as well. Now moving on here, let's read the question first. Find the length of the hypotenuse in these right angle triangles, and leave your answer as an exact value. So exact value, we'll scroll up again, turn the page exact value here is just that one here and that one here so we leave it in the square root form or the third form so it's called an exact value because 
that gives us the exact answer. If you look down here, we are rounding it, and in these answers, we do not have to round it. Like this one, this one will be the exact value for that question, and that is exact value for this question. Alright, so I'll do the first one with you here. Let's write the formula out again. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Now substituting those in, that gives us 5 squared plus 2 squared, which gives us a value of 25 plus 4, which equals to 29. So C would then equal square root of 29, and that is the answer in its exact form, and we would, we would end our calculations right there. Alright, so let's start this question off. Let's write out the formula again. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. That gives us 3 squared plus 7 squared, which equals 9 plus 49. And that gives us 58. So C would equal to square root 58. Give yourself a tick if you got that one correct. Alright, moving on. These are just a couple of the more difficult questions in your textbook. Alright, so the first step in this question is to identify the hypotenuse, which is this side here. The next will be to change these units because they're different. We need to make them the same. For this question, I will change the centimeters into millimeters, and that will become 120 millimeters. This is because there is 10 millimeters for each centimeter, and that means we just multiply the centimeters by 10. So C squared would then equal 90 squared plus 120 squared. And pop those values in a calculator once again. And that gives us 22,500. And to get the value, to get the length of C or the hypotenuse, we have to square root 22,500. And that gives us 150. And remember, the question tells you to round to two decimal places, so we need to include two decimal places, even if it is zero, even if they are zeros. All right, now you guys can take a minute or so to work on this quest final question on the right. All right, for this question, I'm going to convert the meters into kilometers. So there is 1,000 meters in a kilometer, so we'd be dividing that value by 1,000. So that will give us point. 45 kilometers. So let's substitute those values into the formula. That gives us 0.45 squared plus 1.01 squared. And that gives us a final value of... Not a final value, sorry. That gives us a value of 1.2226. Right now we have to square root that to get C. Put that in our calculator. And that gives us 1.11 kilometers. Give yourself a tick if you got that one correct as well. All right, now we've gone through all the example questions. You guys can work on your textbook questions and make sure you complete those as they will be, they will be checked as homework.